Hello and welcome to our audience viewing on the SICnetwork.com and locally here on TV, Eastern Iowa CW 9.3. Welcome to today's presentation of NCAA Division II Men's Soccer here at Patterson Field on the campus of Upper Iowa University. It is the home team, the Upper Iowa Peacocks, playing host to the visiting Wisconsin Parkside Rangers in today's GLIAC Conference matchup. I'm your commentator, Josh McGee, and welcome into the Windstar Charter Lines pregame show, driven by Windstar Charter Lines, the official charter bus of the Upper Iowa Peacocks. Trust the company that moves the Peacocks across the NSIC by contacting Windstar Charter Lines today, 888-494-6378, or visit GoWindstar.com for more information. We're about at the halfway point here in conference play in the GLIAC. The Upper Iowa Peacocks have won two in a row, having not won in the GLIAC since joining it in 2019. They've beaten Northwood University and Northern Michigan on Friday, a 3-0, a comprehensive full team effort on that performance, but today is a whole different animal. The Wisconsin Parkside Rangers, one of the top teams in the conference right now with a 4-1-1 record coming off of a Friday win, a 3-2 decision over St. Cloud State. They voiced a couple of the top offensive players in the conference and will pose a great test for the Peacocks today. Smith now under pressure, goes for the chip pass, able to get it to Cargill still. Now he has Dunlop here, so able to switch the field over to the left back. Dunlop now. Going to get a ball into the box, gets it to Cargill, slips him in. Cargill now on the end line, still trying to keep it in. Stan Cargill still goes for goal, hits the side netting. Was able to get enough of it off of a defender for the Rangers and win his side a corner kick. Some real yeah, nifty footwork, able to work the turn and get something out of that for Upper Iowa. And it looks like this will be Kane Smith on corner kick duties for the Peacocks. Dunlop making a late run into the play, but that's where Smith will go. Dunlop able to settle that one going up against Fabiano. Brings it up to the top of the 18. Until Martin Suarez goes for goal. Blocked off initially. Martin Suarez again. Blocked again. Now out towards Smith. Is he going to be able to get to keep this one in? Looks like he does so. Sliding challenges come in. And it's going to be a throw in there for Upper Iowa. Again, this would be a monumental win for Upper Iowa if they were able to hold on their third straight. Third straight conference win, their third conference win in program history, all within the span of a week. Wisconsin Parkside, though, need this to maintain their fight at the top of the conference standings. This is Ludwig now. Plays that ball over the top. It'll make its way into the 18, and that'll allow Alonzo to get to it and collect it now for Upper Iowa. Quickly rolled out for Dunlop. Martin Suarez converged upon by multiple Rangers, but that eventually now will be a throw in here again for the home team. Not seeing anybody warming up on either side right now for both these teams, so we could be looking at the squads who could play out these last 11 minutes or so. Martin Suarez now taking on the defense, trying to get it onto his right, breaking into the box. Martin Suarez, there's third goal, and it's into the back of the net. Martin Suarez! Climbs the history books and again gets the Upper Iowa Peacocks the goal they desperately needed. Now 3-1 in favor of the home team and they restore that two goal advantage. History in the making for the senior from Brasilia, Brazil. He now climbs into a tie in fourth place all time in the Upper Iowa history books with Ryan Pinkerton. Just sensational once again, scoring a similar goal that he had on Friday. Able to pick up the ball in space. Able to beat the defender in the box. And again, as we have seen today on the three goals, cool, calm, collected, back of the net. And Upper Iowa once again up by two goals. Final 10 seconds here again. Three goals for Upper Iowa. Another team effort, and it's going to result in their third straight win here in the GLIAC Conference. That is official. Upper Iowa comes away today with a 3-1 win over the University of Wisconsin Parkside Rangers. Goals from Stan Cargill, Duarte Font, and Italo Martin Suarez are the difference on the day. Alonso in the defense conceded that penalty in the second half, but at the end of the day, a great performance by that unit, holding one of the top offenses that they will face this season and in the conference to just that one goal. The red card here in the second half played a bit of a difference. Interesting to hear what 
will be said about some of those incidents here in the second half. But at the end of the day, it was Upper Iowa who once again come up with the team performance they desperately have been looking for over the years. And now all of a sudden, from zero wins in the GLIAC to so many wins, they may not ever lose again. But it's three in a row here in conference play. They go to six and three on the season. They're in the midst of just a tremendous run here with this program. Hats off to head coach Willie McGowan, assistant coach Liam Haycock, and goalkeeping coach slash graduate assistant Charlie Ward for putting together a game plan which was perfectly executed by the players.